Hey YouTube, welcome back once again to Harley Day Rider, your good old friend HDR. Out here once again on the lovely 2018 Road Glide Ultra. So where's old HDR heading today? <laughs> well let's first take a look at the uh, local temperature here. The local temperature is 37 degrees on the motorcycle. And I do have my freeze-out pants on and I do have the hot wired gear running of course so I feel uh, pretty toasty and comfy I'm going on the first West Virginia hog chapter ride yes folks this is our first official hog chapter ride of our newly formed uh, West Virginia chapter and what's cool about that is actually be nice if my glove was watched. What's cool about that is you get to go out with a bunch of folks. Now we have seen some of them, and, and you know, and rightly so. I mean, I mean, you know, I, I pull punches, I guess, where I can. But there's some of them that are uh, uh, not going. They said, you know, it's too cold out. I mean, it's 37 degrees right now. Now, granted, we have to be uh, at the meetup point. I think kickstand's up for 11.30, so we got to get up there and meet up and top your tank off. But, uh, I mean, it's 37 degrees out here. I mean, it's not really a motorcycle morning, that's for sure. Uh, but the truth is, I mean, you know, I saw, and I put on there uh, heated gear. Well, because I have heated gear. So if you have heated gear, you could be out here riding. Uh, it's not uh, uncomfortable at all. 37 degrees, it feels uh, pretty good actually. So, uh, of course, I got the full face helmet on. And for those of you wondering, um, I can't really show it to you on the bike here, but I do have the uh, the battery set up that I did the video uh, with my uh, my Senna 10C Pro mod. So I got the battery all uh, connected in there. I charged it up this morning to full charge. And uh, we'll see what kind of day we get out of it. So, but right now the camera is actually running with the charger on. Now, if you have a 10C, maybe put it in the comments below. I don't know. I don't remember the 10C doing this. The 10C Pro has an auto camera off feature, which is super cool. Um, I told you the Drift HD never really had that. So once I turned the Drift HD on for the day, it was on. But the 10C Pro, if I stop recording, after about five minutes or so, it'll come, it'll say camera off, and it'll actually turn it the camera off, so it'll reserve power. So that's pretty cool. So does the 10C do that? I don't know. I mean, let me know. I would uh, really like, I really appreciate that. So I am heading right now down to West Virginia. I guess Mrs. HDR, the official. Uh, kiss goodbye and she goes I just think you're crazy but uh, maybe maybe we are I pulled out of the garage and noticed half my vents were open I was like holy crap we don't want that going on so and these gloves are so big and stiff still I mean I haven't worn these too much yet I think I've only had these on for two rides this is the, like the third ride so I couldn't push the buttons on the uh, on the uh, the vents to close them so I had to take the gloves back off I'm sure they'll break in after a while so anyway once I get down there um, once I get down there I'll take a walk around the bikes I'll show you who's here and uh, we'll talk a little bit to the guys before we pull out and then hopefully I'll get some uh, sights and sounds of the uh, of the uh, of the ride so We'll see how that goes. It is supposed to be like 55 degrees today, maybe 56. So I did bring a sweatshirt with me just in case it warms up. And uh, we'll be ready if it gets warmer out. All right, folks. So I'm not going to baffle you with my BS. Let me know about that 10C if it has auto shut off. And uh, I'll bring you back in here in a little while and see where we get to. I'll talk to you soon. 
Hey guys, we're gonna give you some shots of the bikes here. Yeah, I don't have to this way. See if I can't get this up a little higher. <laughs> Gotta get you on video. Wait. I just renewed. See that? Happy people. Jumping jacks. Folks, we're gearing up here, getting ready to pull out. So, get the gear plugged in, turned on. We had our safety briefing. We did say a little uh, little uh, prayer before the ride, which was nice. And uh, getting ready to get out of here. Got some good sign of bikes here. Really, really good sign of bikes. Time now is noon, that's when we're supposed to hit the road. So we will be good to go. And uh, I think it turned out we got 14 bikes here today. Right now the current temperature is 49 degrees. So that's a really good turnout for a 49 degree day. That's Roger right there on his fat boy. Good looking bike. And yeah, we're underway. Got John leading the ride today, so it should be a really good, uh, nice ride here. Got some uh, trikes in the mix of the uh, of the cruisers, of the touring bikes. West Virginia Panhandle Chapters first official Harley group ride.
a little bit of highway riding here until we get to some of the back roads. And we'll bring you back in then. We got in some twisties here, so that's always a good thing. Nice little rod up through here. It gave us a signal from the front to be single file. It's definitely a cool road. I think I've been on this road before, but I think I came in from the other side. hairpin turn here buddy got another one up here I love it. One, you gotta love riding in a group. You gotta keep your distance, and you also gotta love when you're in the twisties with the group. Just watching the bikes just lean back and forth. What uh, motorcycling is all about, right? It's about the brotherhood, brother and sisterhood. Got a lot of wives with us today, husbands and wife teams. That's great. <laughs> but uh, just a commodity, commodity, camaraderie, camaraderie. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> of uh, being in a group, being together with uh, like-minded individuals. I'll bring you back in here and show you some of the river down here. We're riding along the river here. This is, uh, I believe this is 40. We're going up to 250 here. Got off the highway. Got the whole group together back there. I don't know if you can see in the rearview mirror or not, but we'll try to give you a shot. Anyway. Heading into uh, Bridgeport, you can see they're willing. All right, just got a good group of bikes today. We got a really good group riding here. Everybody's staying together. I got one one guy up there with ape hangers.
we always tell everybody, ride your own ride. You know, if you don't feel comfortable enough, slow it down a little bit. That's what the sweeper's for in the back. Jim is a man with a lot of patience, so he can slow down and keep you together with the group. Alright folks, we're getting ready to pull out here from this lunch stop. Off they go, huh? Where are we going? That way? So we got the heated gear off. We're up to 56 degrees now, so that's pretty good. Don't really much need heated gear over 50. It's kind of the cutoff, I guess. I think I'll end this one here. Everybody's uh, out. The ride's over at that point. Another successful hog ride. We're just uh, a smaller group here heading home. And uh, so we'll just cut it off. Remember folks, ride your own ride. Uh, be safe out there. We'll talk to you uh, next time. Harley Day is going to be out with the WB West Virginia Panhandle Chapter of the hog group.